There are many issues that I have with season 7 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and most of them can be summed up in this scene. You really do think you're better than we are. No, but I... we don't know. I mean, you came into the world with certain advantages, sure. But you didn't earn it. You didn't work for it. They were just handed to you. So that doesn't make you better than us. It makes you luckier than us. I'm still wondering who they're talking about here because it most definitely is not Buffy. But I'm not trying to focus on the negatives for this video. Let's start off with the potentials. Conceptually, I like the idea of having a bunch of potential slayers. It could lead to a lot of interesting character dynamics between not only the potentials themselves, but with Faith and Buffy too. I understand the show wanted to accentuate how isolated Buffy felt as the leader of the group, you know, being the slayer, the only one in the world, and blah 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 blah. Hey, remember this scene in season one? One girl in all the world, a chosen one, one born with the a strength, strength and skill to hunt the, the vampires, to stop the spread of their evil blah blah blah. I've heard it, okay? I think the main problem was the execution of this isolation. This led to a lot of monologuing and lampshading of said monologuing. While I didn't like its execution, it did hit on a point that Buffy has been struggling with throughout the entire show, being alone. From the beginning of the show, the only thing that Buffy truly wanted out of her life was to be able to live as a normal girl. To have normal relationships, normal friendships, to be able to go to college and get a normal job. But because she's the chosen one, she was never able to choose anything for her own life. Throughout the show, Buffy accepts what being the Slayer is and what that means for her. Even when she does things like go to college, there's a whole military operation going on underground that is more the fault of Sunnydale being a hellmouth than anything, but it does become her responsibility to take care of because she is the Slayer. We, as the audience, know that Buffy deserves to be the leader of the potentials. As someone who has died twice and killed the love of her life to protect the world, we know that Buffy knows the meaning of sacrifice and the hardest parts that come with being the chosen one. She is clearly the most fit to guide everyone, but in my opinion, the show needed to have the isolation more at the forefront of season 7. To be fair, we just came off of season 6, which is inarguably the most melancholic and possibly depressing season of them all. It has a positive outlook by the end, but my point still stands. Buffy comes to the conclusion that she not only wants to continue living, but also wants to show Dawn how great the world can be and how great Dawn can be in the world. But I kind of understand why they might have toned down the depressing aspects of Buffy's isolation in season 7 when it comes to being the Slayer. However, I firmly believe that the last season would have benefited from giving it the time it truly deserved, especially when the final plan was for all the potentials to awaken their Slayer powers. But to look on the positive side of it all when it comes to the ending, I am so happy that by the end of the series, Buffy knows that she is now able to live a life that she wants to create and not one that was chosen for her. Yeah, you're not the one and only chosen anymore. Just gotta live like a person. How's that feel? Yeah, Buffy. What are we gonna do now? With this line from Faith and Buffy's small smile at the end, you know that there's some relief that comes with knowing that she is not the only Slayer in the world now. She was able to rest more now knowing that there are others out there who can help just as she has. But seeing Buffy's soft smile at the end made it completely worth it. There is something about the seventh season that doesn't feel quite right all around. I can't really pinpoint what it is, and I'm not saying that the entire season is unenjoyable. It's just that it feels a little off to me. As a side note, I want to know if they planned having the first come back the entire time. It was an enemy that was introduced in season three, I believe, but I don't recall it ever being mentioned again until season seven. Either way, I actually quite liked it as a villain, but once again, the execution wasn't my favorite which I feel like is the theme for Buffy season 7 for me. I really like the concept, but it wasn't executed very well. Let me know what you think. Was season 7 executed well and I'm just missing something? Or did you have a similar feeling as I did?